whole life I always knew I was special Even with no remainders I could always move a decimal Money on my mind while the girls that made un beso Hustlers in my blood and it's running through my vessels Just trying to clear the threshold Just trying to make a way In my race against time I could see an early grave School to prison pipeline 12 years a slave Suspension and detention is conditioned for a cage Next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Ryan Garcia responding to Canelo Alvarez. Let's take a listen to what Canelo had to say, and then we'll dive into Ryan's responses. All right, so let's listen to Canelo. And this video appears courtesy of ESN News. Or ES News. You know, one thing I have to ask, because a lot of fans will say, oh, you didn't ask. Obviously, Ryan was with you with Eddie, five fights, five knockouts. What do you think happened there? I don't know what happened. And so you heard what Canelo had to say about Ryan Garcia. Now, this is Ryan Garcia's response to what was said about him. <clears throat> and so this appears courtesy of Michael Benson. He says, Ryan Garcia responds to Canelo Alvarez's comments about his split from trainer Eddie Reynoso. <clears throat> Excuse me. He says, uh, Ryan Garcia, Canelo doesn't know the facts. The first camp I had with Eddie went great. Then everything went bad. He only showed up two weeks before Fonseca fight. And that's when I first asked my managers to talk to him about finding a new trainer. Virgil Ortiz left because Eddie never showed. Frank Sanchez had a fight where Eddie only showed up the day of the fight. So I asked Canelo to explain that. Let's stop the back and forth and focus on the fights at hand. By the way, got nothing but respect for Eddie. It's just the truth. Uh, he went on to say the truth is also uh, the truth also is that not even the main reason I left uh, or decided to part ways. Canelo knows why I'm just going to keep it to myself and focus on the fight I have. So he just said that it's not the real reason why I decided to part ways. And Canelo knows why he's going to keep it to himself. All right. I'm going to turn it over to you, Kaspira G. What do you make of all this? Canelo's comments and Ryan's reaction. All right. So, well, first I'll, I'll talk about Canelo's comments. I thought it was kind of funny. Low key. Because <laughs> he didn't really say Ryan's name, but I know he was talking about Ryan. He's like, these dudes, they show up, they show up, they train for 20 minutes, then they disappear for a couple of days. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? Disrespect my being work ethic, you know? So, I can see how that like that uh ruffles some feathers with uh Ryan. But I don't respect Ryan's response. And the reason why I don't respect his response is because he didn't keep it on his issue with Eddie Reynoso. 
he involved like three other fighters that had nothing to do with his complaint. If you wanted to leave, then you leave. You don't have to bring in other gentlemen because they're not here to defend themselves. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> leave those guys out of it. Just focus on your situation. And then on top of that, the last post, he said, that's not even the real reason why I left. So then it's like, why even bring up all of this stuff anyways if you're not even going to reveal the real reason why you left? Just keep your mouth shut, man. Like, the world doesn't need to know why you split. You could have just been like, uh, you know what? I just, you know, I, I felt like Goose is just a better fit for me, blah, 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 blah. Yo, people would just take whatever answer you give them. You don't have to go into the issues that you had behind the scenes, Eddie not being there, Eddie's put too much energy on certain fighters. We don't need to know all of that stuff, man. So, Ryan, I kind of felt like, this, this is the problem with, uh, you know, Gen Z's, where it's like when you live on social media, you feel like everyone needs to know your business. We don't need to know your business. And I know you know that because your last post is shows me that there's clearly something that you're keeping uh, from the public. So just keep it that way altogether. Just, you know, I got love for Eddie. I got love for Canelo. Thank you for the opportunity. I learned so much from the team. But I feel like this is a, a better direction for my career. And just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. All right, Ned the TVE. Nah, nah, I agree with G. Um, Ryan, like his response was seems like he didn't like. Uh, he felt like he was putting the wrong light, but like whatever happened between y'all, no need to put it out there, and no need to even seek attention, no even need to respond. But um, Canelo was asked a question. Canelo said what he said, and at the end of the day, you know, you guys know what the real situation is, and for that, for y'all, for you to like call these guys out like that. It, 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 uh, it makes you look bad because I feel you had the opportunity to train with the best, and you, 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 you downplayed it, or you didn't, you didn't take it serious. And these guys know you weren't serious, so only it, at this point, y'all already separated. Just keep it moving, y'all. No need to name nobody. No need to say there's more things behind it. The real reason, to anything. Just keep it moving. <laughs> oh man. This is reminding me of the Avant song, Separated. Uh, but, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And what rings true is I think they said he had five fights under Eddie Reynoso with five knockouts. Um, and he fought Luke Campbell. He stopped Luke Campbell. And I remember him jumping in Eddie Reynoso's arms and, and had a moment that, G. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But um, he didn't seem like he had a problem with Eddie Reynoso then, right? And so I think, like, you can't just all of a sudden, you know, say, like, oh, well, there's these issues. When when he beat Luke Campbell, he seemed like he was a very valuable asset to the team. It seemed like Eddie Reynoso was giving him all the time. It seems like they all believed in him. But then there came a point where he talked about he needed to take a break. Then there was uh, he was slated to fight Javier Fortuna, and then he pulled out of that fight. And I think that's when things started to change. And I think that's what Canelo's alluding to when he says fighters have to be dedicated. Like, I show up, I'm dedicated. When people need time, Eddie gives them time. But if you start showing up working out for 20 minutes or saying you're going to be there at 12 and then you show up at two then that creates an issue and i understand that it's something that i spoke about when we first discussed this like he's not getting the time slots he wants and now he's not being treated a one so he's starting to feel a certain way but what happens is when people feel like you don't respect their time they're not going to give it to you when people feel like you're not as serious about something as they are then they start to see you differently. And so if you look at Oscar Valdez, like right now, who's about to have the biggest fight of his life against, against Shakur Stevenson, and you got um, Canelo Alvarez about to fight Baval, and you got Frank Sanchez who just beat F.A. Ajapa and just had a, a great victory, uh, or I shouldn't say great victory, but a victory on a, on, on a card. I can't remember because I didn't pay for the card, but he, he just had another victory after that. You have these guys really dedicated then you have this young man who's a YouTube sensation, YouTube guy, social media guy, just came off the biggest win of his career and then decided he wanted to quit boxing. It, it's kind of like hustling backwards. 
Mm-hmm. When you come off the biggest win of your career, you don't talk about leaving the game when you're in Ryan Garcia's position and you don't give up two fights. And so I think it was just a matter of them saying like, hey, man, you know, you got to you got to earn that spot again and him not liking it. But like G said, instead of going this route, instead of airing out dirty laundry and airing out business, you can just say, you know, at this point in time, I feel like it was best for my career to switch trainers and move somewhere else and to and to go somewhere else. I have nothing but respect for Eddie Reynoso. He taught me a lot. I'm, I'm I'm grateful for those lessons and who knows what the future holds. But at this particular point in time, I think it's best for me to move on and take my career in a different direction. That way you're not burning any bridges, but you do it the way he's doing. You start to burn bridges. You start to make it very soap proper, like very diva like. And you start to make people look at you and not really like you. And, and Lord knows how Canelo feels about Ryan now. When we used to know he used to see him as like kind of like a younger brother and possibly the next guy to take the torch. So uh, I'm with G, man. Stop talking about it. Just handle your business, man, and, and win. Oh, yeah. And so that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to check us out on social media and also check out our podcast, which is fire. The podcast is killing. So we appreciate all the love and support. Us love and support. Thank you. It's the Boxing Bros.